Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Mehdi and here is Desire School channel. We asked you what would you like to learn about Lumion in our community. And you dear friends choose lighting. So we decided to create a series of video about that. Okay, here we are going to consider these episodes in two parts. Natural lights and artificial lights. This is the first episode and it's about the morning light. So the sunlight is going to be low at this time. And we have direct lights inside the room with sharp angle. The color of the light is a little bit cooler than noon time because of the morning sky color. Okay, let's start the video and see how it's gonna be in Lumion. In this tutorial, first we are gonna adjust lighting settings and then we will apply materials and other effects to the scene. This method is gonna help us to achieve the best lighting settings in Lumion. To do this method, you have to choose stereo foam effect and decrease the fusion slider to zero. Adjust your best view of scene and save it first. The next effect is gonna be real sky. Choose one of the morning's skies in the panel. I prefer this one here. Then change the heading slider to adjust the direction of sunlight. The next effect is skylight. Change the render quality to ultra and increase brightness. Now I'm gonna apply hyper light effect here. Set its amount in 35%. Let's take a test render. Okay, now choose real sky effect and increase brightness and overall brightness here. After applying any effects, I'm gonna take a test render so you can see the change better. The next effect is shadow. The most important thing here is turning on the soft shadow and fine detail shadow. You can see the change. Now I'm gonna decrease the shadow correction to zero. And also decrease the omni shadow to fade shadows on the edges. I think 0.1 is okay here. Hold shift button to adjust the slider easier. Decrease brightness here too. The sun is gonna be low at this time. I mean morning time. And also we have direct light with sharp angles too. So we have to decrease the sun shadow range to 100 meters here. You can see the differences between 100 and 3000 meters in this image. Well, now decrease the exterior and interior slider to 0%. Again, you can see the differences. I reduced the brightness option several times to get darker shadows. Anytime you change it, you have to adjust the Omni shadow too. There is a direct connection between them. As you can see, we have a nice shadow here on the edge. Here, let's head back to the skylight and decrease the brightness to have more darker shadows. As you see, we have better shadows under the bed. Okay, now let's apply the materials to the surfaces. I'm not gonna show the full process of it here. I have created some videos about materials that you can get the links in the description.
Ok, let's take a test render after applying materials. Now we have to adjust reflection effects. First of all, turn on the speed ray option then apply reflection plans to the surfaces which needs accurate reflection such as window and floor. Then add the sharpen effects. By decreasing this option, you can get better the details in the scene. Ok, let's take a test render. At the end, I put some trees behind the window and fix some materials in the scene. Now you can see the final result and hope you find it useful. Thank you and bye for now.